Good morning. Yesterday we were about, well, these are the set of bluffs that we were trailing towards. It got too hot. We weren't making any time and I was afraid I was going to toast those dogs. So we quit probably about, I want to say probably a mile on the other side of those bluffs right there. But that lion was heading back this way. So I was going to drive around and go up and get right where I was, where I parked yesterday and just cut across. But I figured I can, I can ride down and hit this big canyon right here and just circle this country here and see if, if you know, she made a kill or she's in there or something, you know, see if we can start trailing again. I traded out mules. I got big Agnes again. I left Rosie O'Donnell back there in the pen. We'll get going. I brought the male dogs today. I left the female dogs. That way, if I'm this close to the house, it might be better if I rotate them every day instead of every two days. I'll see how that works. That's all. They're all, they've been hunted hard for the last, it's going to be about nine, 10 days, something like that. So, yeah. All right. Let's get old Big Agnes ready to go. Come on, Big Agnes. Look how happy she is. See? See those eyes? She's ready to go. <laughs> Agnes doesn't quite cinch up as deep in the girth as uh, as uh, Rosie O'Donnell. She's a big old stout mule, but they both have the same lazy tendencies. I always reset the trip data. That way, in the afternoon, when I do the stats, I know exactly how far we went and, and all that stuff. It doesn't really mean anything, but it's interesting. Little old bunch of deer right down there. What's that all? No, 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 no. Al, no. What's that all about? They're hopping to us. No. Timmy, no. Timmy, no. Timmy! <laughs> I'm going to watch these young dogs. I don't think they... They're still pretty fascinated with deer. Right. Right in that, you see the tallest mountain right there. And then that saddle right to the right of it. That's where we trailed to yesterday. So I'm going to split it right up in here. I keep my handle on these young dogs. Man, they're a handful. They are a handful. Man, it'd be neat if we could get her up on one of those rocks up there. That'd be pretty cool. All right, here we go. <coughs> terrible, terrible, terrible trash race this morning with these young dogs in the javelina. Thought I had them busted off of them, and then bam, they're boogering all of them. Started it right over the hill. It's terrible. But I know. I'm gonna have to move these dogs around. I think that lion came right around here. Came around and down. Heck, they might even been right back over there, but I couldn't tell. It's getting hot. We've been all over this hill. Trailing here and there around. This lion's just in here hunting. And she's walked up every nook and cranny and around the tops of these rocks. And now it's gotta be 75, 78 degrees, something like that. Touch getting to where it's gonna touch 80. So we're gonna be done. Or we might be done right now. Sissy and Booger are the only ones up there and Dan. 
the only ones up there trying, really. We jumped a bunch of javelina in there, and all the dogs did real good. They did after this morning. They didn't. They didn't offer to chase them. I mean, those javelina were running right over the top of them, and they said no. We're not gonna have nothing to do with them. Uno tried to, and then puppy dog did too, but or Boomer. But they quit. They got a lot of electricity this morning for messing with javelina. It was a big old another one of those poop shows. Look at that! Look at that mule, big Agnes. <laughs> She acts like she's about to die. She's so tired, but she's really not that tired. There we go. I bet he turned left, though, right there where they turned to the left and went right across, went right across through there. Just bet. Got hot again. I mean, real hot. We trailed around all around those bluffs up there. In and out. Over and up. And then back around to where we were. And then I had split trailing. I had a bunch of young dogs trailing out that way into those, toward those bluffs up in there. I had the old dogs, which is just Sissy and and booger trailing back out that way to the way the way we just came from i've heard even warner glenn real famous lion hunter can and he hunts some desert conditions said that those lions can just you know they'll hear those dogs coming they'll just move on out they might be able to go a half a mile in you know in 15 minutes where it takes those dogs 30 minutes to go that hot trail that half a mile so you never get caught up so you bump they shoot they rest then they move again then they just kind of stay out in front of those dogs so i don't know could happen i sure wouldn't doubt it but we trailed and we made a big circle i don't know how many miles not that many miles I know it can't be much. Well, nine miles. Jeez. Moving time, four hours and 10 minutes. Hey. Stop time. Timmy. Stop time, three hours. Subscribe. If you want to see more content like this, crush that like button, hit that little bell, comment, share. Watch it till the end. That's it.